Welcome to my guide on how to farm pilfer points. There is a requirement rework coming that will require you to fully complete the tool belt, which does require a total of 5,000 pilfer points, in which case you can easily get them, but keep in mind, the higher you're thieving, the more points per hour. So if you're about 78 thieving, you can expect to get a lot less and before anything remember to enter the trap door north of the place in Lumbridge once you're actually here and this is pretty much let's say you've been already be thieving which case right here you'll notice that I already have some items while you are Safe cracking, you do have a chance to get artifacts, in which case you'll want to talk to the guild master who is just to the west of me. You want to hand in, and again, since this is for pilfer points, you want to choose option one. If you are an Iron Man, one artifact will give you 10,000 coins. And now, one more thing, the looting bag. Mine is 68%, and to cash it in, you want to talk to Chief Thief Robin, right click and fence items, in which case, you'll give them all of that. Now, continue to go north, and let's say this is your first ever time, so I'll destroy this loot bag, or if you have previously done safe cracking, you want to speak to the safe cracking trainer, Hit option two, you have lost your bag. And that is how you reclaim the bag. If we go southwest, you want to right click Dodgy Derek and hit rewards. Even though I bought the lockpick and the stethoscope, it still shows that you can rebuy them. There we go, for 2,500 each. But I highly suggest you to at least buy the medium looting bag because this will save you a lot of time running back and forth. Now that we're here, time for the items required. And that will be an elemental, battle staff, or air runes and fire runes so that you can teleport. A wieldy sword one which is the easy task system, or you could just buy an Amulet of Glory, Law Runes, and to have a Wicked Hood. And then lastly, one thing before we actually do start the whole thing, you want to make your way to Verok. If you teleport to the Verok Square, you can skip this part. Usually, some people will teleport at the Grand Exchange, so to change that, you want to run north into the castle, and we'll be making our way to the library. Speak to Rado. Hit option 2 to speak to Rado. And hit option 1, I mean option 2, to talk about the task system. And then option three to change it. And make sure it's set to the Verok teleport point. One more item I forgot to actually mention is you will need a lock pick. This cannot break, so you're perfectly fine with just getting one. Afterwards, make your way to the Lumbridge Castle. And we'll be going east of the general store, we'll enter this house, climb up the stairs, go through the store, and you'll want to click this safe. Now, if you want, well, you, you could zoom in, and you'll notice that it pulsates, which, well, I kind of did that instantly. But I'll show you on the next one. Basically, once it pulsates green or blue, you want to click on it. That will skip a dial. However, 
for this kind, I'm going to just completely AFK it. So this would be like an example. If you want to get even more pilfer points per hour, you can help to zoom in and then click on it. Or you can go to your settings, audio, and do sound effects. This way you're able to hear it when it pulsates, in which case you can click on it. Now after this, I like to go to Verroc. For here, I like to wear the Wilderness Sword, and I surge and then barge the guard. Sometimes it's a 50-50 that the guard is there or not, in which case you could just surge again, and then while you're here, you can blade dive to the door, or again, just like walk to the door. It's completely up to you. Climb up the ladder. Go west through the door. And this door right here is where you will actually need the lockpick. This lockpick is pretty horrible in my opinion. The reason why this door is pretty bad is because right here, look at how many times I have failed. This is pretty much on average, although sometimes I get in about four or five clicks. But yeah, it is pretty bad. And I mean, sometimes I've even got to hit about 15 or 20 times. So yeah, that was not bad. But anyway, just spam click the door. And there you go. You're in. Do these three safes. And again, I pretty much just AFK this. On average, you can expect to get 492 to 499 power points per hour AFKing the chest or the safes. If you want and start paying attention, you could actually get about 20% more points since, again, you'll be paying a little more attention. And then you do get a good amount of experience, about 230 thousand with 138 kgp per hour keep in mind this is without any bonus experience of any type so if you do have that you can just double it or even triple it depending on what bonuses are active at the time now at the beginning of the video you did notice i had a huge loot bag First off, when you start safe cracking, you will have a small bag, in which case a full trip will fill the bag up to about 82%, in which case you have to go back to the NPC and empty out your bag to him. Once you have 500 points, you have access to buying the medium bag, which it will fill up 42% of the time per run. And then if you do have a large bag, it will fill up about 21% each run. And then of course, if you do have the huge bag, which I do have, it fills up about 9% each run. And then I'll pretty much just skip this so I can show you the next location. So with the Wilderness Sword, teleport to Edgeville and we'll be going to the general store. Climb up the ladder, south, and you'll notice that there's a safe right here. Sadly, this only has one spawn. So, I mean, you could do this, and again, if you don't have the Wilderness Sword, you could use the Amulet of Glory. After this, I like to teleport to War's Retreat. Wait for the area to load. Right click the portal and go to Draenor. For here, go north. For whatever reason, it always changes your camera, your compass, which I find annoying because a lot of places actually do that. So, make your way to the Draenor Manor. Once inside, go west. 
and I like to click on the south safe. That's just because of my user interface layout. Since it is pretty bad, if you go to the north, it will block out clicking on the south. So I always click on the south so that I can just easily click on the north after this is done. And luckily there's two saves here. Once you have done these two saves with the Wicked Hood, right click it and teleport to the Rune Crafting Guild teleport option with it. And yet again, your map will be changed. So once it loads, You want to descend the beam once. For this, I like to go to the west safe right here. And again, it does depend on your interface layout. You can zoom out a little bit, and then you'll have access to the east safe once it is ready. And this will be the final location. After this, you want to make your way back to the Long Bridge. Just remember to equip the Elemental Battle Staff if you do have that. And then you'll have an option to either run north, go to the NPC and give him your looting bag because it filled up. And again, remember, if it's small, you have to run to him every single route. If you have the medium bag, you'll have to run to him every two times. If you have the large, you have to run to him every four times. And then if you have the huge pouch, I mean the huge bag, you can run to him every nine times. Actually, I think 11 times. So yeah, it makes it very, not AFK, but like less of a hassle that you have to go to the NPC, give him your bag, and then run to south. And then what I mean by that is, let's teleport to Lumbridge now. Right here, you have an option to run north to the Thieves Go, so that you can empty out your bag, or continue and go south into the very first building. The door will be closed, Climb up the stairs. Thank you all so much for watching my guide on how to farm pilfer points AFK. Again, if you want, you can pay attention and you'll get about 700 points an hour. But if you do the AFK method, you can get up to 495 pilfer points hourly. Granted, you could get a little more if you are lucky with the artifact spawns. Thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment as it really does help.